What's up? This is Aoi Sleep. Now, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon para naman updated ka sa mga susunod ko pa videos. No? So, let's start. Let's start today. It's all about scientific notation. So, what is scientific notation? Scientific notation is just a expressing no, the numbers. Very large number, hindi kaya yung very small na number. So, in-express in mo lang para masulat natin na tama at ma-compute natin ng mas madali. No? So, for example, no? we have here, we will convert this number. No? So, yan ay 38,000. So, paano natin i-convert yan no? into CNDP? Notation. So, 38,000. So, 38. No? So, titignan natin yung dalawang dulo ng number doon natin ilalagay yung ating decimal point. So, dahil yung number yan, no, i-move natin yung decimal point hanggang dito sa 3.8 times 10, no, 10. Ngayon, kapag ang decimal point ay gumalaw, move, no, from right to left, no, ang, ang kanyang exponent must be positive. So, kung ilan to, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3.8 times 10, to the fourth power. So, yan ang pag-convert ng scientific relation ng 38,000. Another example, we have a 9,650. So, 9,650. So, we will convert this into scientific relation. So, andito ang decimal yan. 1, 2, 3. So, this will becomes 9.65 times 10 kung ilan yung movement natin no? moves 1, 2, 3 so raise to 3 so yan mga ating conversion ng 9,000 yung scientific notation so pag naman na no, very small pag very small yung ano, number naman so for example no, ay meron tayong 0.5 0.0037 no? So, sabi natin kanina pag papuntang left, no? Positive ang kanyang exponent, no? Ibig sabihin ng kapag positive yan, ibig sabihin yan ay very large na number, no? Kapag naman yung negative, yan ay very small number. So, katulad nito, no? So, ang goal natin ay mapunta rito yung decimal point. So, 1, 2, 3, 3, so this becomes 3.7 times 10 is to negative 3. Those are these 3 examples. No? So, 12 million. No? Ang gagawin natin yung scientific notation. So, yun ang step siya. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this becomes 1.2 times 10 is to 7, no? And then, ito naman, 4 billion. Pag 4 billion naman, ilan yan? 9. No? So, 9. So, this becomes 4.3 times 10 raised to 9. So, ito naman, no? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So, 5.9 times 10 raised to negative. Work. So, ganyan lang kadali yan. So, punta naman tayo sa addition and subtraction ng scientific notation. So, dito tayo, no? So, mag-subtract tayo ng scientific notation. So, ang given is 9 times 10 raised to 3 minus 3 times 10 raised to 3. So, ang gagawin natin yan, no? Yung x ay i-set lang natin as variable. No? I-treat lang natin siya as variable. So, ang 9x minus 3x is 6x. No? So, ang magiging sakot yan ay 6x times 10 raised to 3. Yan lang kadali yan. Minus mo lang 9x sa 3x. So, let's have a number 2. So, number 2 naman, no? Uh, 2x times 10 at 2 times 10 raised to 4 plus 5 times 10 raised to 4. So, ang mangyayari yan, pa-plus lang. No? So, 5x, 2x, 
plus 5x is 7x. So, ang sagot dito, no, ay 7x times 10. Ah, sorry, 7 times 10 raised to 4. So, ganun lang kadali yung addition and subtraction ng scientific notations. Pero, ang tanong dito, paano kung ang iba ang kanilang exponent, no? Yung, yung raised sa taas, yung nabang sa taas, magkaiba. So, paano natin i-add yung isusubtract yan? So, yan yung ating susunod na tatalakay. So, dito, no? Kapag magkaiba naman yung kanyang exponent, dito, 5, no? Doon naman ay 4. So, kailangan muna natin gawin parehas ang kanilang exponent, no? So, ang mangyari dyan, dahil 18 to, so, 18, so, magiging, pag nilagay natin, magiging 1.8 dyan. So, becomes 1.8 times 10. Doon nila madadagdagan yung 4, magiging plus 1. So, yan ang 5 plus 4x10 raised to 5. So, parehas na sila. Ang mangyari ay, i-add lang natin. No? So, 4 plus 1.8 is 5.8 times 10 raised to 5. So, ganun lang kadali kapag magkaiba ang kanilang exponent. No? So, magbibigay ako sa inyo ng tanong. No? So, okay, sabutan, no? And pakilagay sa comment section sa baba, no? And then, that's all. So, sana may natutunan kayo. And then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So, that's all, no? Good luck, soldier.